To convert an old vertical lathe from Scotland for the purpose of turning a double helical gear, you will need to follow several steps. Here's a brief description of the process. Prepare the old vertical lathe for the gear turning job. This may involve cleaning, lubricating, and inspecting the lathe components to ensure they are in good working condition. Choose appropriate cutting tools for turning the double helical gear. Double helical gears require special tools designed to cut both helical gears simultaneously. Create or obtain the design specifications for the double helical gear you need to machine. This includes parameters such as the number of teeth, module or pitch, pressure angle, and helix angle. Obtain a gear blank with the required dimensions for the gear. The blank should have a diameter of 3 feet and a length of 4 feet. Ensure the blank material is suitable for the application and has been properly heat treated if necessary. Mount the gear blank securely on the vertical lathe. Adjust the lathe settings to accommodate the size of the gear blank and set the appropriate cutting speeds, feeds, and depth of cut based on the gear design specifications. Begin the gear turning process by carefully following the design specifications. Engage the cutting tool with the gear blank, ensuring the tool is properly aligned to achieve the desired helix angle. Gradually remove material from the gear blank to form the double helical gear profile. After completing the turning process, if milling is required, transfer the gear blank to a milling machine. Set up the milling machine according to the milling operation required for the gear design. Use appropriate milling cutters to machine any additional features or details on the gear. If the gear requires an internal keyway, set up the vertical milling machine or a slotting machine to cut the keyway. Ensure the machine is properly aligned and secured. Use a suitable cutting tool to accurately cut the keyway to the required specifications. Final inspection. Inspect the machine gear for any defects, dimensional accuracy, and surface finish. Use precision measuring instruments to verify that the gear meets the design requirements. Once the gear machining process is complete, create a taken to convert the vertical lathe, perform the turning, milling, and keyway cutting operations. Add voiceover narration to explain each step clearly and concisely. Remember to prioritize safety throughout the process by wearing appropriate personal protective equipment and following established machine shop safety guidelines. Please note that the above description provides a general overview of the process. The actual steps and requirements may vary based on the specific lathe and machinery available, the gear design, and the machining practices followed in your workshop.